what I'm going to show you how to program here is two simple jumps. Um, they both have the limitations. Both of these jumps have been used in popular games, which has gone on to sell hundreds of thousands of copies over the years. But there are still problems with both of these versions. Um, the aim of the game is to try and get these videos down to five minutes, so you can watch maybe a few videos without wasting too much time. So we'll have a look at the first cat, and this is this orange cat. If you look at him on the screen, he seems to be like bouncing around a bit. Now that's because if you look at the code displayed here, you can see pretty much why he's doing that. So when the game starts forever, change the Y by minus 5. So in other words, whenever the game starts, pull him down forever. So if you watch, he'll forever be being pulled down. And he goes, if a key is pressed, do that. If another key is pressed, do that. If another key is pressed, do that. But it's this if here which is making him bounce. If he touches the colour blue, push him up by 5. So a positive 5. You can see up here, he's forever being pulled down. Only if he touches blue, push him up. So if I use the arrow keys, you can see that he moves, and the other cat is tied in with this as well. But he moves along that blue ledge. If I press the space key, he flies because that's all he does. But you can stop him from actually coming down if you keep your finger on the uh, space bar. Now that's not what you want. So let's have a look at this green cat. This green cat does the same sort of thing, but his jump's quite different. You probably got to see it then in the test there we just did. So if you press the space key, you're going to repeat 10 times, changing the Y by 10 pixels. In other words, you press the space key, and he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 up. And then when that's finished, because it's repeat 10 times, after it's gone up 10 times by 10 pixels, as you can see here, it goes into this. 10 times it's going to pull it down 10 pixels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I press the left arrow key, he'll change his x by minus 10, so we'll go on the left. And if I press the, and he'll point in that direction, look, point left. And then if I press the right arrow key, he'll face in that direction and he'll go on the positive x. So you can see both cats are tied to the same controls here. And if I press space on the keyboard, you can see he's constantly jumping. And the biggest problem with this green cat though is, is with the orange cat you could fly about, but with this cat, if I push left and press jump, look, the other cat keeps moving, but this one, when you jump, he jumps up and then he comes down again and you can't jump forwards. So that's the limitation of this. So hopefully you can have a look at these two examples. They're not perfect, but they will do you a job if you're just looking for a very basic jump mechanic. Another problem with this green one is, is it, I suppose you could have a, gra gra add a, add a gravity to it so that it pulls it down to the um, stage all the time. Let's just see if we could do that. So if we go to motion, change y by forever you want to change y by minus 5. And then if touching blue, so I can go to the other cat actually and just make this bit right quick duplicate. Put it in the cat, go back to that cat and link that in here. I think what we've got here is the same as we've got up there, but this time the jump works the way you want but you cannot move forwards with this jump and that's how to create a simple jumping effect using scratch.